What do we have here? We have the Visit Fort Collins specialty. Now, I got to work with Autumn Shemp on this from the Visit Fort Collins board. She wanted to create a blend to highlight Fort Collins and to give outreach for their brand and letting them know some of what Fort Collins has to offer. Following in that thread, we decided to create something that utilized a lot of the local abundant plants found in the Fort Collins area and around in the canyon. So I wanted to highlight black currant as a fruit that grows really well locally up and down the beautiful Poudre Canyon. And wanted to, following how I see the culture of the town, I wanted it to be friendly and accessible, highlighting the black currant. Well, we got kind of a funky, colorful town with lots of characters. So I also tried to introduce a lot of herbs that have a lot of nutrition and found locally. So I used rose hips and nettle and red clover, a little bit of dried peaches. Where peaches don't grow in town, we do have a big peach festival in town and they grow on our western slope. And so what we ended up with, besides looking beautiful, it really has a deep nutritional sort of aspect to it and it's replenishing and restorative, but it's also really friendly and fruity and versatile. Does well hot, really refreshing iced, and can only be found at Visit Fort Collins and Happy Lucky's Tea House. deep reddish sort of hue to the brew. Mm. Let's see, uh, the dried fruits, the dried currants, the rose hips. Is deep, reminiscent of currants, and faint note of spice. I did add just a little bit of cinnamon because it played nicely in it. Comes on very soft when it hits the front of the palate, and then comes on strongly as it hits the mid part of the tongue on its way down. It's got a pretty clean linger but it's leaving lingering notes of the fruit and a little warmth from the cinnamon. And it's very drinkable, has a very refreshing, restorative quality about it. And this is a favorite amongst the Leafsters, who tend to be more purists. We tend to drink the pure leaf teas a lot. But this one really bridges the Leafsters and connoisseurs tastes with your everyday man. You might not know anything about tea. And it's quite drinkable.